Welcome to Airport CEO, folks. I am really excited to get into Airport CEO. I've had the game for a long, long time, but I haven't really played it. Uh, I don't know why, I just haven't had the time really, but I really want to, to get into Airport CEO because I th think it's really cool running an airport. So, and especially since I work in the airline industry, uh, well, the IT, airline IT industry, I think it's kind of fun with planes and stuff like that. So I really want to get into Airport CEO. Now, before we jump into Airport CEO and start playing, I just want to say uh, to those who were expecting to see uh, XCOM 2 today, I am still trying to fix the game. Uh, so we haven't given up on it yet, uh, but I have uninstalled and reinstalled it uh, two times. Uh, tried running it without mods and with mods, and uh, I just can't get it to work right now. I obviously restarted the computer, reinstalled the launcher, done everything I, I know to do. And I, and I can't get it to work. So... Yeah, I hope we can come back to it, but right now it doesn't look promising, unfortunately. So, while I try to do that, we'll jump into Airport CEO, and Airport CEO will be a full series. Uh, but if we, if I get XCOM 2 working again, we will probably alternate a little, a little bit with it. Uh, also, uh, Transport Fever 2 might be coming to an end, and Airport CEO can take over there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this is me. Uh, it doesn't really look like me, but uh, yeah, that's what I look like in the game. My name is Martin Nerd. My real name is Martin. And we are gonna go up here and we are gonna start in Copenhagen, which is where I'm from originally. Right now I live in Bangkok, of course, but we are gonna start in Copenhagen. Very cool. The airport name is going to be Hestel Airport, because that is what the name of, or well, actually, it's Hestel International Airport, I think. And the IATA code is CPH. And this actually looks very much like uh, Copenhagen Airport's logo. At least uh, Copenhagen Airport used to have a logo like this. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to play on the large map and we're going to go on moderate difficulty. We'll have some emergencies, not too many. We'll have 2 million in cash to start and it'll be fine. Let's go. All right. I'll see you when we're in there. Alrighty, we are on our map, and this is what we have to work with from the beginning. We can buy these areas over here, and yeah, we have a contractor on load and a delivery, or a contractor thing, delivery site, and a contractor transfer site. So. We're going to start the introduction a little bit. I have played a little bit just for, to familiarize myself with the game a bit, but it's um, it's a complex game. So let's let the tutorial tutorial run for a little bit. Yeah, the build panel is down there. We I know that. Uh, we have our management panel. Yep, we have the dashboard. We have our emails, operations, economy, all the good stuff. Operations is where we decide what kind of services we want to offer. We can research a lot of research projects and construction. So now we need to sign a contract with some contractors. We'll go with uh, Brickley here, I think. Uh, 86, seven and a half dollars an hour, 126.4 dollars an hour. So let's do that. And then we can go into operations, contractors, and we can just say max because we're gonna need all of them here in the beginning and call them in. So uh, over here we have 
some information. We have an, our general aviation uh, ratings. We have our uh, airline ratings, our commercial airline ratings, uh, uh, passenger ratings, uh, security ratings, and uh, average uh, airport satisfaction rating. So all good. Uh, yeah, we got a new email, so let's check that out. Uh, I don't really care about the Airport of the Year award right now. We won't be getting that. And yeah, thanks. Welcome to your new airport. We'll get rid of that. They're not that important. All right, here we have our flight planner, which we will want to play around with as well. Okay. Now... let's start building we need a runway so we'll get a small runway and we'll get an asphalt one and i think we'll land this way or will we will we put it up here i think we'll put it up here Something like that. And then we need uh, runway ramps. We want, uh, I think, just this one. And we'll put it here and there. And then we want uh, taxiways. Now, these are cheaper to maintain a little bit. So we'll, we'll do asphalt. And we'll make them three wide. I think we'll do five. No, three is fine. Now, we only have small aircraft for now. So that's fine. Uh, then we need the aircraft stands. Which are also cheaper to maintain, but more expensive to build. So we'll do the, uh, the cheaper to maintain ones. We'll do one two, three, four, five, actually. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. And now we need to start building. So let's let them start building. Let's see, if we do, let's see, I want to, it's only on one, I want triple speed, uh, I want aircraft infrastructure, I want a vehicle depot, which can be right here, I think, and then I want a fuel depot. which can be right here, I guess. We want a, a air traffic control tower, a small one. It can be right there. And then we want some service roads. Where are the service roads? Where are the service roads? Is that over here? Service road. We'll go with asphalt. And we'll go with that. Well, now. Okay, most of this stuff is built. Very good. Uh, so we need to connect up the taxiways. Uh, let's just slow down a bit while I do this. Uh, okay. So like that. We'll come all the way down here. Up here. Down there. Down there. Down there. 
down there, down there. All right, so they're all connected. And we can actually start getting flights in. So let's do that. We need to uh, open the runway. That's all working. And we need to go into our uh, operations and we will open the airport and we'll allow general aviation. So now we should start seeing lights coming in, which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay. Uh, let's speed up and see if we actually get any coming in. So we have general aviation. There it is. Our very first plane. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now. We need to build some stuff down here. And I want to move these two. So let's... Hmm... Let's go into zones and rooms, or is it infrastructure? It's infrastructure, isn't it? Uh, delivery site. We'll put down here. And then construct contractor site, we'll put down here. We will put a uh, public road. down here and we'll get this stuff built All right there's a second plane coming in beautiful 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 All right so we have our general aviation flights coming in we have built these so that's good. That means that we can uh, demolish these. Uh, I will need to... This is a bit of a weird way of doing it, in my opinion. Uh, but it's fine. I want infrastructure. I want the delivery site. And I want to demolish that. And then I need to grab you and demolish that. And they will go down, live in their new spot. Uh, so, that's that. We have three general aviation planes. Now, up here, uh, I want infrastructure, public road, public road, asphalt. And I want to come out a bit like this, a bit like this. Then I want bus stops. I think. And let, let's let that get built real quick. Okay. Is one of them longer than the other? It looks like it is. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we'll get that three longer. Okay. Uh, now we've already done that, and we've already got five landed. So we can say next. Uh, yeah, uh, build fences. Yeah, we will be doing that, but not right now, I don't think. Uh, why not? Uh, fences are in infrastructure, I think. Or is it in aircraft infrastructure? No. 
repair fences. Uh, zones and rooms, no infrastructure. Vehicle checkpoint. Sidewalk, crosswalk. Uh, where the heck are the fences? Not in the bathroom, I, I would expect. Uh, 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 fuel depot, weather station, concrete tile. Airport utility buildings, no. Public road service road, one way road, vehicle checkpoint, sidewalk, crosswalk. Bus stop, bus shelter, car stop, taxi stop. At the parking lot. Terminal? Terminal. That's a bit weird to me. Why would there be fences in the terminal? Right, we are going to, before we build that, we can, we need to sign a contract uh, for fuel, but they can't get in right now, so let's wait a second. Forgot about that. Okay, so fences. Um, okay. Let's just build a fence up here. Uh, let's bring it all the way over. We'll bring a fence down here. We'll bring it all the way over and down in here. And they said that I need at least one fence gate, so let's just put a fence gate in there. I don't really care right now. I just want that part to go away. All right. So fences will be more important later. All right, uh, let's just go double speed. No need to have it go so fast. Uh, next, uh, refueling service. Uh, yeah, so we need a vehicle checkpoint. We're gonna place that down here, I think. Or are we? Are we gonna place it over on the other side? Uh, let's place it down here for now. We'll go infrastructure, public road. We'll just go like that. And then we need a vehicle checkpoint. And I'm pretty sure it's this one or this way. Okay, and then we need service road, we'll do asphalt, and I think we'll come all the way out here, uh, up to around here, let's bring this one over, like that. Okay, that's a lot of building to do, let's let them do that. And it's a little bit dark right now, fortunately, but they'll get it done eventually while it's dark. Not that it impacts their ability to work, but it impacts our ability to see. So, are you guys building or what? Yeah, but slowly. We have all the contractors in here, so... Just need to get this built. Okay. There's our checkpoint. And they can almost get to where they need to go with the vehicles. Alright, I'll let them build that real quick and I'll be back. Alright, they built it. And we can now sign a aviation fuel contract. Uh... Uh, if you 400,000 liters, 154 per liter, 164, 151, but they can only deliver. Let's go with heavy fuel here. Sign. Oh, okay. We already signed it. All right. 
Then we need a fuel truck. So let's purchase a ABI Fjord fuel, fuel truck. It is coming. And we are having our fuel delivered. Beautiful. And our fuel truck has arrived. There it is. Man. Controls are very sensitive. Move extremely fast around the map. I think I might change that. Alright, I think that's a little better. Alright, so we have fuel. And we can turn on uh, operations, have gas. So we can fill up the landing planes and make some money off of that. Perfect. Uh, so we need to refuel five general aviation aircraft. And here we go. First one gonna get refueled. Beautiful, and we make a bit of money from that. And we just need the one fuel truck right now, I think. One should be enough for five stands. Okay. Now, I don't know if our service roads can cross taxiways. Ideally, they can, but if not, then we actually have kind of a problem here, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, come on, refuel those five. We have a fox on our runway. Get away, fox. Don't want to get hit by an aircraft, do you? Go away planes and bring in new ones. Man, they're sitting there for a long time. Jesus. And it's raining. Can we... Can't advance time. All right, a new one came in. As soon as that one left the stand, a new one came in. That's pretty nice. And there's a cow on the taxiway. Go away, cow. All right, refueling that one. Good. All right. All right, terminal time. This is where it gets fun. All right, terminal terminal foundation and it needs to be at least 20 by 15 so it needs to be at least that well that actually uh, let's I, I want it to be 25 by 15, I think. So let's do that. And have our... Oh, crap. I built that the wrong place. Uh, let's pause. Let's uh, undo this. Hopefully that didn't cost me any money. Um, we need to put in some uh, infrastructure first. Because I want bus stops. To have a bus stop there. And a bus stop here. And a bus stop here, I think. Then we want a car stop. What a couple of those. And then taxi stops. What a couple of those. 
then we want sidewalks um do they need to be that big isn't this good enough i think this has to be good enough okay we can get another bus stop and another either car or taxi stop in there that's fine and then we can drag out the terminal and make it 25 by 15. screw it let's make it no, 25 by 15 is fine you know what why not do the extra bus stop and uh, and probably an extra taxi stop as well like that okay so that is being being built open the heat map uh, where is the heat map heat maps uh, passenger walkable area okay uh, I don't know there isn't even a door to the terminal so I, I'd say that we probably need some doors uh, large sliding door now uh, we're gonna put a few in here see if we put four 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 actually i don't think that's the right thing to do that's too many doors uh let's demolish 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 and put walls back in. Uh, where is walls? There. Okay, are they putting in the doors or what? No. The okay, walls. Alright, and doors. It's kind of important to get in, be able to get in and out of the airport. So, we will do the first one here, four in. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, there. One, two, three, four, and let's go from this side, four, four, there. Four, four, there. Four, four, there. Four, four, uh, one more there. Okay, so that's a lot of doors to get in. Good. Why can't we see them? Oh, the uh, heat map was on. All right, so we have our entry doors, and we need to build up something here. Let's just take it down to normal speed for a bit now uh, future staff let's see drag out a staff room yep um, staff zone let's make build the staff room where do we want the staff room to be over here or something We'll make it that big. Well, let's do that big. And we, of course, need some uh, walls around that. So, like that. And then we need a door for it. A uh, door, small. And we'll put that door, let's put it up there. All right. Uh, and then we need some furniture for them. Seating. Uh, eight seating chairs. 
laptop table tables uh, okay uh, let's let this get built and see what they say then I dragged out a staff room already uh, zones and rooms staff zone of oh, staff room there Place a few office desks and any type of seating in the staff room. The office desks. Where do I get that? Okay, office desks are here. So let's get some office desks in here. Sorry, I just had a coughing fit. Uh, so... Let's do something like that. Now yeah, let's get more. Something like that. And some seating. Sofas. I can't lie that one. And we'll get some sofas in here. Uh... Like that. Oh, those were facing the wrong way. Um, so far. Okay. Right. Uh, no, nah, they don't need tables. Who needs a table? All right. So we have that done. Pretty boring staff room. They don't even have a TV or anything. Right. Yeah, decorate my terminals by putting in some new floors. I really want to do that. Uh, floors. What's this? Floors, floors, floors. Okay. Let's see. Let's do... Marble uh, up to there, and we'll do it up to there as well for now. Okay, uh, beautify the terminal with some nice plants. I mean, isn't it more important to get like check encounters in there? Let's right, let's get some ferns in, I guess. We'll put uh, actually no. Let's put them like that. Okay. Uh. The difference between staff room and staff zone. Staff zone is used to restrict areas in terminals from passenger access. Staff rooms design rooms where your staff can work and rest. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, we need a commercial license. Let's set up office spaces in the staff room for the airport administrators to work. Yeah. I already did that. Uh, get a commercial license. Hire at least two administrators. All right, so we need to go into here, operations, our staff. Uh, applicants. We need uh, administrators. And I think we'll just go with the best ones. Even though they're quite a, more, a bit more expensive than the not so good ones. Uh, but they're... The better the skill, the faster and more qualitative they'll perform their job tasks. The higher skill an employee has, the higher salary they... Yeah. So let's hire you and you. All right. So then we need to go to operations, uh, research and development. And we need a new project. And we need to unlock a commercial license. Start project. And assign our guys. Now, 
I can assign up to five. I want five on there. Uh, administrator, uh, uh, app, applicants, uh, administrator, we'll hire you, we'll hire you, uh, we'll definitely reject you, reject you. I, can't, I, I want better ones. Let's hire operations R and D one two three, so that we get this done in a jiffy. We're spending a lot of money. We're down to one million, so we spent half our money already. But these general aviation flights, they do make us a little bit of money now and then. All right. So while we research that let's start planning out our terminal a bit uh, so we want walls now I think I want a wall going like this and then a wall going something like that and in here will be a secure zone we can maybe Go up a bit like that. And in here we'll have uh, check-in counters and stuff. We're going to need bathrooms as well. Uh, so why don't we... Build a bathroom here. And we can have a bathroom over here for inside the secure zone. And maybe a bathroom over here as well. Nah, they can walk to the other side of the airport. That's fine. But we obviously need doors. So finicky about those doors. Uh, let's do medium doors for the bathrooms. Uh, one there. One there. All right. Can you please remove all those crates that you have lying around? Now, what kind of floors do we want in the terminal? Like the mats. Yeah, like the fancy mat. So, there, that'll be the security zone. Yeah. Uh, okay, do we, did we finish our uh, research project? Uh, we did. Let's do night flights. Yeah. And we'll assign, well, I guess three to that. Okay. Um, well, I guess in our bathrooms we need... Uh, some actual toilets as well. Oh, there's urinals as well for men. Okay. Uh, oh, do I need to sew in a bathroom? I need to sew in a bathroom. Uh, there. All right, we'll get toilets. And I think we'll have toilets across here. So, can I say oh allow gender okay you know what in that case let's do that we want walls i think we'll make it half size here and then we'll so how many is that that's five inside three six and five inside, right? No, that's one too many. Uh, on it. Can I cancel? Uh, balls, balls. Right, one, two, three, four, five inside. A door, medium door. We'll place that over there. This will be... Uh, we can do the same here. 
and we can just stick a wall in right there. Perfect. All right, bathroom, toilets. So this will be the ladies' room. We will get some sinks. Uh, and then we'll get some hand dryers. Like that, I guess. Yep. We'll get a hand dryer there. We'll get a hand dryer there. There. And a couple of sinks for the men as well. And some urinals. Uh, wait. I need some toilets here. Uh, that's fine. Oh, that's not sewn for bathroom. Like that. And urinals. I think we'll have down here three of them. And then we'll have a sink and a hand dryer. There. Okay, so this is female. This wait, oh I need to split the zones into two. Um bathroom, bathroom zone. Can I take that away? Yes. Okay. Bathroom. There. And bathroom there. Actually there, right? Uh that's uh. All right, let's try this again. Like that. And now we can say that this is female and this is male. Okay, now this bathroom, so let's just pause while we do this. Uh, yes, I want to delete that bathroom. Two bathrooms. We'll do toilets. Ladies room, we'll have sinks here, and hand dryers over here. Then the men's room, we'll just have two toilets, we'll have urinals, like three, a couple of sinks, and a couple of hand dryers. Okay, so that's done. Then we need a secure zone. We actually need all of this to be secure zone. Like that. And then security, we need security checkpoints. Uh, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Ah, oh, dang it. it. Needs to come over one. Okay. Uh, terminal walls. Let's demolish that and build the wall up like that instead. And we'll get that going. Then we need desks, we need uh, an information desk. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, let's get a couple of medium information desks. And place one here. And how many in was that? That was the third door. Then we'll place one here. So two information desks, we want uh, check-in desks, of course. And I think we'll have them... Something like here. Uh, 
So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Let's do four. So we have eight of them. That was done. We need to fix the flooring. Uh, we want this mat. And we need to fix the security desk. So that we get one in there. Oh, I need to zone it first. Do a zone there. Uh, security desk there. All right. We spent mo more than a million. Okay. So uh, we can make uh, cues for these. And I think we'll just build them up to there. And you. Oh, I want it one longer. And Right. Right. Let's build it to there then. Well, that's a bit weird. You have to drag it out longer than it actually needs to be. Right. Thank you. How, how long did I make them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Okay. All right. Now, as a curiosity, could do with cues as well, but now we need some staff, I guess, and we need some check encounters. Let's see what. Uh, Green arrow, departing passenger flow, red arrow, arriving passenger flow. What? Uh, passengers will first enter the terminal where they can check into their flights. Then they must pass a security checkpoint in order to enter the secure perimeter of the terminal. Once the flight arrives, they will go to the aircraft via boarding desk. Yeah, passengers arriving at your airport must pass a security exit before they can leave the terminal and claim any bags. Green arrow, departing passenger flow, red arrow, arriving passenger flow. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. All right, we have the security checkpoints. We need a uh, security exit. Uh, how wide is that? It is that wide, so we'll have four. Pull those four walls. All right. And we will place a security exit. And that's, that can't be placed on walls, of course not. Uh, I think we will uh, get this little bit secured zone as well. And then we'll have the security exit right there. All right. Now, play a boarding desk near each stand. Now we need to place more stands. Uh, so, aircraft stand, how much do these cost? 30 grand. Okay. So, they are, what, five wide. So, five. Um, I think we can get five in here. Yep. Exactly five. And then we need taxiways. Uh, and they're going to be three wide and come down to there and come over to there. Now the question is, can I cross here? Can. Nice. So we will get taxiway going like that. Going like that, and going like that. Okay. 
pretty expensive to do, but it's okay. Uh, let's see, taxiway path. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. Let's build some uh, check encounters. Oh, we have been going on for a long time. I, I want to get these boarding desks in. Well, actually, we want doors first, don't we? Doors are, pr are pretty important things. A door. We want large doors, and we want them right here. And then the desks, uh, boarding desk. Uh, let's build like two out. And there we go. We have boarding desks. Okay. Uh, so that is done, and we need to connect them. Uh, connect stand, you. Uh, connect stand, you. Connect stand, you. And you. And you. Alright, and then we can just get the taxiways in here. Uh, so, we'll build that. Oh, I made it one too wide. Darn it. Uh, let's bulldoze this. Uh, taxiway. Coming way over here. Coming up here. And coming down here. All right, so that's that. We have that all hooked up. And next time, hopefully, we will get our first... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, these stands are not for... Okay. That's... Uh... Let's dismiss aircraft. I can't even do that. Uh, I do not want you. Uh, you can be updated. You can be updated. You can be updated. These two cannot get. Why is it not functional? Uh, arrival runway not connected. Departure runway not connected. Ah, that's because this will allow commercial flights as well. And now they work. We need to change these. <clears throat> And we need to get the, uh, the uh, service roads connected. Uh, service road. Do we just connect them this way? I think we just do that. It's a long way. I think we might get another depot and another, uh, or at least another fuel truck thingy down here we'll see we'll see but anyway this has been a long episode guys so uh, yeah i hope you're into airport ceo i know i am and uh thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time